City folks think it's quiet out here in the country. Farmers know better. Just listen. We are eternal optimists. Some of the most powerful sounds come from the smallest voices. This story needs to be told. This story if comes in a whisper. Lowell Nelson's farm hangs like a family portrait in his Clay County home. He'd hope to pass it on to his sons one day. How do you get so attached to a piece of dirt? I don't know. I don't have the answer for that, but boy, I'm attached. But pouring his heart into the only life he's ever known left Lowell's heart broken. You're hearing a valve doctors put in Lowell's chest to keep him alive. When an artery to his heart gave out this past spring, it paralyzed his vocal cords. You've been here all your life. This is all you've done. How do you let it all go? Even in a whisper, Not easy. his story speaks volumes. Not easy. Farmers work from sunup to sundown, but Lowell's only chore these days is walking past fields that once made him proud. Doctors told him to exercise and not lift more than 10 pounds. This for a man who once carried the weight of the world. After all, this is Sabin, Minnesota, where grain elevators make up the only skyline. It's the kind of place where if you look around, you can see the collapse of the farm economy. And if you listen hard enough, even here. The largest auction house out here sells off 100 farms a year. Lowell Nelson knows his farm will soon be on the auction block. His home, sold off, may be abandoned. He's a million dollars in debt. And Lowell Nelson's story is the Red River Valley story. Last year, the average farmer out here made negative $16,000. We always say next year will be better. Next year, next year, next year. Next year, well, a farm wife can only take next year so long and uh, it got to the point where next year just didn't mean anything anymore. Sandy Nelson never imagined her husband's way of life would unleash his inner demons. It was tearing at me like I was a failure. And then you get that isolated feeling that I'm the only one going through this. Buried under a mountain of debt, Lowell sank into depression. Very devastating. It got so serious that I was really, really considering taking my own life. When you start planning, how are you going to do it? I mean, that's... Uh, Below bottom, if there is a below bottom. Time and faith mean everything to farmers. A new season brings new hope. So it was with Lowell. When everything around him started to die, he found a reason to live. He is my French, but uh, the farmer's just getting screwed. Big time. You hear that voice? Yeah, that's, that's Lowell. We're, we could see a mass exodus of farmers, worse than we've ever seen before. Given a 10% chance of getting his voice back, Who's Lowell finally beat the odds. Why are you doing this? Because I know it's not just me. Other people are going through the same hurt that I'm going through. And at a time when so many farmers face a silent surrender. I'm just scared I, I'm going to lose everything. I mean, his story from the heart let the heartland know someone cares. Thanks for supporting the American farmer out here. A voice, a heart operation, or depression was not going to stop him from telling that story. You, you can't but help having the most immense respect for the man. Lowell's become something of a prophet out here on the prairie, finding strength by sharing his pain. He'd need every bit of it to survive this past Friday. All right, how many dollars on it right here? It's the first time in the auction sale. Lowell's lived on the Nelson farm for 54 years. 
selling everything he used to run it, would take three hours. Still, Lowell can't keep silent. Not where I wanted to be at this point in my life. Sometimes it takes losing everything to remind you what you have. Yeah, you can lose a lot monetarily. You haven't lost anything unless you've lost a loved one. Sandy Nelson's got her husband back, and Lowell found the most powerful voice comes from within. These days, that inner voice is telling him there's hope. There is life after farming. John Barr, Channel 5, Eyewitness News.